I gotta quit, man. I'm gonna find these in the stores in a couple of months, and I'm gonna go, why didn't I just wait? Oh, yeah, that's right, because my stores don't restock. My Walmart's still on 2016 trucks. My Target's still on case A. They actually just got the new Target exclusive case with the Monster Mutt Rottweiler and Max D. They're the only two sitting there. Everything else is gone. And my Toys R Us, I don't even know. They think they discontinued Monster Trucks there, because... You know, that's my luck. And there's no Kmart near me, so I have, I don't really have any luck. I mean, Walmart and Target were my only two places, and they gave up really restocking. So that's why we have this beautiful thing called the Internet. So um, this is my third giant, big, six-truck extravaganza eBay haul. So let's just start it off right off the bat. Number one, the Blackout El Toro Loco. This is number one of three blackouts that we're going to be seeing in 2017. The second blackout confirmed is maximum destruction, so that's pretty cool. We were supposed to get Max D in 2015, um, but they never released it like at the other 2015 trucks that <laughs> were not released, like Exterminator, except that was released in Canada, Storm Damage, the Superhero Trucks, Titan. Yeah, they were all supposed to come out in 2015, and they never did. So, two years later... We're getting the Blackout Max D at number two. And the third one is rumored to be higher education, although we haven't seen any photos of it yet or the poster that uh, they have on the Monster Jam website. Not all the trucks are filled in, so we're not really sure yet. But other than that, that's what we think it is. So here's the Blackout El Toro Loco. Here's the case it's in. This is case B. Um, these are all the trucks that are in case A, except instead of uh, Blackout El Toro Loco, of course, it's Soldier Fortune. And then this is just case B, Blackout El Toro, replacing Soldier Fortune. So here it is. I think it's a really sweet Blackout truck. I mean, a lot of people predicted this truck to come out as a Blackout. I mean, I think Zombie would be another one that a lot of people predicted. I predicted Avenger because, you know, Avenger's been in Monster Jam since, you know, how many years? It's its 20th anniversary, so Avenger's been around for quite some time, and... I was thinking they'd do a blackout of Avenger, but hey, at least they did that Silver Series version of it, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, you can kind of see the logos in the light, you know, like every other blackout truck. And of course, the flag is black out, blacked out, really. So, um, <laughs> that's how the ramp should have been for the blackout Monster Month Dalmatian. It should have been an all-black ramp, but, um, nope, that's Mattel for you. Next up, we got, ooh, here we go. From Case E, the World Finals Hot Wheels Firestorm. Yeah, this is supposed to be the World Finals 18 paint scheme for the Team Hot Wheels. It's also its 15th anniversary. Credit to Levi Jones for uh, figuring that out. So it says 2017 new look. I don't know, they put that on all the trucks with the new paint schemes. Um, yeah, this is the uh, paint scheme that's supposed to be revealed at World Finals this year. And um, a lot of people don't like it. I think it's actually weird i mean I, I like it in a way but it looks like cheese i think a lot of people call it the cheese mobile as you can see it's got a chrome body like medusa it's not a chrome truck it's an epic additions so um that's interesting see it's got the hot wheels with the yellow like slime pink logo there teeth looks like they kept the teeth the same the flag's got like a dark lime green yellow mix into it black flag that's really it. I mean, it's got black rims as well. So here's the back of the case. Uh, let's see. I wonder what else is in the box from the case. Hmm. So yeah, that is the World Finals um, Team Hot Wheels. And that's going to be fascinating once they uh, unveil it. I don't know if they'll unveil it like before Vegas or at Vegas. Probably at Vegas like they did for the Green Jester. I don't know. We'll see. Next. Color Treads Doomsday. I wasn't going to get this one, but, you know, I figured why not. I was going to get the Crush Card Doomsday that um they were selling at Walmart last year, but I never got it. So this is the same Doomsday that we've been seeing since it came out. Same tool. It's the NEA tool, so they didn't fix that. The flag, it's got Doomsday on it, black with the red, and there's the color tread wheels. They, a lot of people, see, they look orange on light, but they're actually like a darker... I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's not like bright orange like we've seen on the Color Treads Dragon and the uh, El Toro Loco, but this is like a darker orange. It's not red red, but, you know, once you get this in person, you'll see. It's, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's got definitely the best graphics out of all the trucks. I mean, look at that. Flat black. So, 
Yeah, I don't know how I'd describe the color on those color treads there. Definitely not light orange, I'll say that. Next we got, I don't even know who's in here. Da -da 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 -da. Chrome Avenger, so this is a flashback really, because there's already been a Chrome Avenger, two of them actually, if you want to count the Silver Series one. The um, old World Finals Avenger, um, World Finals something, I forgot, but um, yeah, there's already a Chrome Avenger out there, why did I just flip it around? So basically what this is, is the original Avenger um, decals, I mean, not the 20th anniversary one, the 19th anniversary Avenger is what we're going to say it is. Um, yeah, just the regular, wow, actually, you know, the decals look pretty shiny from there. That or it's the light. There's the flag. So I like the Chrome Avenger a lot. A lot of people don't like it, but it's pretty neat. I like it. It's a blast from the past because, you know, it's the old world finals Chrome on the current paint scheme, right? I don't know how to say it, but yeah, that's that. So I don't know how many are left. I think we have two left. Let me just check. Yep. Next up, we got Jurassic Attack. Yeah. I don't know why I chose this one, but I got it. Once again, there's the back for absolutely no reason. So, it's a new look for Jurassic Attack. It's green. Um, not sure if this is going to be a real-life thing or not, because the real-life Jurassic Attack isn't green, from what I know of. It looks like it's the same decals, except everything, the only thing that's different is instead of it being blue, it's just green. So everything else on the truck looks about the same. There's the eye. I mean, it's got, yes, yeah, same... Same stuff. I mean, we didn't have the um, regular blue Jurassic Attack last year. Oh, wait, yeah, we did. It was the Color Treads one. We never got a regular version of it. So we get the green Jurassic Attack. Ain't that fascinating? All right, so last and certainly not least, my favorite of the case. Flashback. Team Mints is back. Take a look at this. Wow. So when we first saw this truck was coming back as a flashback truck, a lot of people were hoping this would be like the 2011 New Tool Max-D. Um, obviously not with the spikes, but um, with how it should have been. But no, we get the look that it had when it was in 2002. So there's that, or 2003. I'd say 2003, that's Team Mints. So we're going to compare this to this. So obviously um, what's different on this one is, um, you know, you got the USHRA logo. And believe it or not, the USHRA logo is still being produced on the Gravedigger only. So we got the Hot Wheels logo down there where the mints is. The Hot Wheels logo is nowhere to be. Oh, there it is. It's on the um, side of the front right there. So there's that. Hot Wheels logo is beneath the mints there. We got the new Monster Jam logo. Get that to focus. There it is. You can kind of see it say Tom Mints in the red up there. Tom Mintz is still there. Of course, we don't have the Monster Jam logo on this. We have the USHRA logo. Um, back is painted in. We got the lights painted in. And on the 2003 version, nothing's painted in. The big hole in the back, just like that. Same thing. Same tool. On the front, we're going to have problems. Because this one says 2000 to 2002 World Champion. This one says 2000 to 2001 world champion. Wait a minute, and that's what the flag says. 2000 to 2001, yeah, he was the champion, but it wasn't Team Mintz, it was Goldberg. So this one's accurate, having 2000 to 2002 world champ. This one should have been Goldberg if you're going to be putting 2000 and 2001 on it. So, I don't know. Although I do like this, that they did bring it back. I mean, it's my favorite truck out of the case, and I'm happy that they're doing the flashback series. It's my favorite series, and, you know, hopefully they continue it into 2018. But other than that, that's really it. So you guys be the judge if you think Mattel screwed up on the Team Mint's dates. I mean, yeah, they kind of did because that's Goldberg's dates. Anyways, that's it, guys. That's the case. Thank you guys for watching. What's your favorite one of the case? And, yeah, as you can tell, the only... Three I didn't get was the X-Ray Shocker, the Mud Trucks Thunder 4x4, and Max D, which I don't need because I got it already. So I need this one, and I need this one, and um, other than that, that's pretty much the case. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, see you next time.